everyone, it's Allie from the Gypsy Teacher here. So I decided to start a new series weekly on the blog. And I thought that would be kind of cute because it's all about hair. So what I wanted to do was basically create a weekly focus where I spend some time with you teaching you either a hair tutorial or tips. So today, um, I wanted to start out very basic. Now, if you have been doing your own hair for a while, or if you do other people's hair and you know how to braid, once I list off the names and you know how to do these, you can totally just skedaddle off and meet me here next week. But if you do want to stick around, I'd appreciate it. I, you know, I always like to watch how people do that just to get my own tips and learn how to do it better and then if you don't know how to do your hair and you're like oh, I see all these cute tutorials but I don't know how to do it this is for you this is these are five basic braids that you will be able to do easy peasy within a few minutes of learning them if these are five basic braids that you will want to know if you basic braid, the French braid, and the Dutch braid, which are kind of intertwined, um, but I wanted to do separates there. Um, the fishtail braid and the rope braid. So let's jump right in. We're going to go ahead and start with numero uno, which is the OG original braid. And um, many people do know how to do this braid, but I did want to do just a quick overview just in case you didn't. So we're going to go ahead and take a normal piece of hair. You could do this in a bigger chunk, smaller chunks, whatever, however size you want to. But this is just the original braid, just in case you don't know how to do it. Basically, you're going to take a piece of hair. You're going to take your hair and you're going to split it into three parts. So I have piece A, piece B, and piece C. So now we're going to put piece A over piece B so that piece A is in the middle now. We're going to put piece C over piece A. And then you just continue doing that. So you're basically bringing each of the sides alternating into the middle. Do a normal everyday braid. Again, it's just putting one piece over the other, and that's what it looks. Number two is the French braid. You're gonna take a smaller piece of hair at the top of where you want. So if you're starting, if you're gonna French braid your whole entire head, you're gonna start right up here. But for us, since we're just doing a smaller piece, I'm just gonna start with a smaller piece of hair right at the top of my head, if you can see that. So now that we have our smaller piece, again, you're gonna just start braiding normally. So you're gonna take piece A, piece B, and piece C, and put A over B, and C over A, and once you've done that once, you're going to start incorporating in new hair. So with piece B over on the left side here, you're going to take a little more hair in on the side and then cross it over to the middle. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take a little bit of hair along with the original hair and cross it over the middle. And this just keeps getting repeated until you have finished your braid. your ends, you want to make sure you stop at a good point where your ends don't, aren't going to fall out the sides. So now I'm going to go ahead and secure that. As you can see, maybe, hopefully, it kind of looks like it's being braided inside. So your braid that you would usually see 
see like this part of the braid is being wound inside it's basically like you're almost concealing the braid and hopefully you can see that so now we're going to go ahead and dutch braid so i can show you the very opposite of that but it's very similar so again i'm going to take a little piece of hair at the top split it into three parts a b and c but instead of taking the hair over i'm going to take it under so i'm going to take a under b and c under a and now you're going to continue doing the same thing and adding hair in so i'm going to take B, add some hair and put it in the middle. This side, add some hair under and put it in the middle. This shows up on my darker hair but as you can see the Dutch braid is almost it looks like the hair is on top sitting on top the braid is sitting on top of the scalp while the French braid is where the hair is sitting under close to the scalp so this is the Dutch braid and this is the French braid now we're going to work on the number four, which is the rope braid. This is something I have recently discovered and I really, really like. How I usually do it is I use, if I don't want my bangs in my face all day, which I really don't have very much, it's more just longer hairs, but if I want to kind of keep my hair out of my face, I'll do it with the rope braid. We're going to take a small chunk of my hair right next to my part and I'm going to split it into two parts. So I'm going to have the back and the front. The only trick to this hairstyle is you want to twist your hair um, always forward. So no matter if it's the back piece, you're going to twist it forward and the front piece, you're going to twist it forward. And that's going to give a more interesting look. So now that we have the front and the back pieces, or the top and the bottom, I'm going to take the bottom piece and twist it over the top piece. Make sure your twists are nice and taut again. And do the same thing, taking the bottom over the top. Now we're going to add in some hair. I'm going to take a smaller piece of hair that's not included and add it into the bottom. You're going to twist forward, so I'm going to take my hand, twist it forward, and put it over the other one. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we'll do it again. So we're going to take the bottom piece, add in a piece of hair. Twist it forward, and go over and up and around the top piece. And you just keep doing that. So I'm going to take a little bit more, twist forward, and up and around piece. So as you can see it's so easy to do but it has a really fun look to it and you can make it looser, you can make it tighter, you can do it. I like to sometimes do it like all around the base of my 
head like I'll start up top and then I'll kind of go all the way down and around and that's fun number five of the most basic and important hairstyles or not hairstyles braids is the fishtail braid and now you probably have seen this before um, but you may not know how to do it so I'm going to show you I'm going to just take a chunk of hair so that's what I'm working with and now for this hair to for this braid I'm just going to split my hair into two equal parts And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small section from the back of one of the sides and cross it over to the other side. And do the same, take one piece from this side, cross it over to the left side, and repeat. turns it into a really really cute braid. This braid is you always want to cross the hair front. You don't want to go behind or just adding it to the other side. You want to make sure to cross it in front and that's what it's going to create this really cool fishtail effect. Oh, but all that's better. So it kind of looks like a fish bone or a fishtail there. All right so that wraps up my first video for the series. I love doing braids because again, like I said, it expresses my personality. It's super easy and it makes it look a little bit more fun and feminine too. So as you know, I will be continuing the series next week. So come on back and let me know if you have any other thoughts or comments or questions or if you like this or if you have any other op opinions on what tutorials you want to see. And I will talk to you again soon.